Hey guys, it's Lisa. Welcome to Banning, Panning and Beyond. And this is my last haul video for um, the year. So uh, I do have some um, friend mail coming in the new year. So that will be exciting. Um, but yeah, I've held off um, using most of this stuff just because I wanted to make sure I didn't forget to show you in a haul video. So some of this stuff has come to me um, via Andrea um, from Pretty as a Peacock. So um, the first thing I have to show you is the Clarity Cosmetics Lily. Um, it's a pressed pigment palette. It's absolutely stunning um, and it arrived in perfect condition. So uh, that's it there. Um, so, so pretty. Lovely for spring and summer. So um, yeah, which is perfect because hmm, we're in the middle of summer here at the moment so uh, had that um, and then I have the uh, glamorous palette from Glaminatrix Cosmetics so absolutely lovely um, packaging on this one and it's um, definitely uh, a challenge for me it's such a bright um, color story and it scares me a little bit but I like having uh, things that are unique um, to my collection because a lot of um, palettes that are just same same um, yeah so I'm looking forward to um, challenging myself to using that one and I had already swatched one of the shades in that and uh, just to protect these um, they're in a big magnetic palette but these are Glaminatrix singles as well so I got the shade uh, let me just check this one is called cinnamon so such a, a pretty color and then this one which I've used all three of these already uh, this one's caramello and then this absolutely beautiful multi-chrome is called electric so uh, I think yeah you can definitely see the shift happening there so perfect lighting um today for this so that's awesome so i loved using um that one then this is a strange and unusual palette is the first palette i've ever had from um bella beauty bar now it did arrive um with quite a few shades shattered so i think i've still got the photo so i can pop that up uh so i ended up uh, doing my the best i could to repress it so um it it doesn't look too bad um yeah i probably need to just wipe it down again but yeah overall the shadows are pretty good this matte red here is actually I'm not sure you can see it's just chipped right there so i um i wasn't going to bother digging that one out um to repress that so uh, yeah absolutely love the color story of this one i just think it is a gorgeous love halloween um, color stories it's my favorite time of year to buy palettes um so the other one that i got through andrea so um obviously the glaminatrix ones didn't come from andrea but so far um strange and unusual and the lily palette did and this give me glow one nightlife also came from andrea another one that arrived shattered that i had to repress was this shade here um but yeah so that is that one as well it's actually hmm reminds me a little bit of lily let's have a look let's compare the two just if i can open it without dropping it so you can see there we go so we've got pinks and purples obviously don't have the um teals in the nightlife palette but yeah so lots of pretty pinks peaches oranges sort of to play with um, with that one and oh my goodness i don't know what i did with it um i'm going to have to find it um because <laughs> i've already used it but it was the nomad cosmetics um hudson valley palette um hold please and i will go find it okay so i love it uh, just the whole um, packaging just I love oranges and reds as you know that's just warm colors and I wasn't 100% sure about this one because of this side of the palette but 
I have enjoyed using it. Um, the whole palette has been just lovely. So I'm really, really happy um, that I got that one as well. Uh, so a couple of other bits and pieces here. So I didn't do Black Friday sale shopping per se. It just happened to be around that time of year that I was down at the local pharmacy. And this is a foundation that I had wanted to um, try for a very long time. It's a L'Oreal True Match Nude um, Plumping Tinted Serum. So it's the one with the hyaluronic acid in it. And uh, excuse my nails, they're coming off. But um, yeah, I finally got that and uh, I absolutely love it. I know that um, uh, Andy from Makeup and More with Andy wasn't overly fussed on it. Uh, but I wanted to give it a try myself and she recommended that um, if I was after that that I should give this um, Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid a go. Now this is more full coverage whereas this is very um, sheer, um, um, light sort of coverage. Uh, love both of them. So thank you Andy um, for the recommendation. I was really happy that I got both of those. And while I was at it, um, these had become... These were recommended to me by um, my office manager. Um, she said they were meant to be dupes for the Fenty lip glosses. I wouldn't say, maybe with the applicator, yes, but I don't feel like the formula is the same at all. So it's their lifter gloss. And um, of course I had to get warm shades. Um, not unhappy with the purchase, but um, I wouldn't say that they're um, a gloss one dupe at all. So. Uh, but I picked those up. I also got, goodness knows why, because I do not need any more um, powders, but, you know, went on a roll. Um, I decided to pick up the Loose Finishing Powder um, by Maybelline in the Fit Me, and I just got Shade Light. So it's supposed to be really good for um, under eye setting and whatnot. So good to try um, like a drugstore price bracket I think um, and uh, while I was at it I also got this Revolution Hydrate and Fix Radiance Makeup Fixing Spray so maybe um, a dupe for the Fix Plus we shall see um, yeah so I'll have to give that a try I'd be happy if that worked now I did show at some point in one of my videos that I got the um, Revolution Grinch advent calendar but i didn't uh show you what was inside so we will quickly go through that there was a scrunchie and a headband which i didn't grab so they're not very exciting anyway so it came with this palette and love the color story um so i was i've already used that so i was quite happy with it i haven't used these so we have a red liquid lipstick then there is um, a bullet lipstick in red as well so hopefully the formulas on them are okay uh, there was a setting spray in it and there was a lip balm it's green but it goes on sheer so I uh, have tested that one I've got two cute little um, brushes which are still in the plastic so hmm, I don't know that I would really use them because they're a bit small but anyway um, love this highlighter so it's the packaging there and the whole thing with um the Grinch was because I chose it um we had a competition at work which no I didn't win um but yeah we had the best decorated um workstation and I chose a Grinch as my theme so you've got the um imprint there and uh yeah it's quite a nice um highlighter so loose hair uh, and then it also came with um, a little mirror, so don't think that I'll use that. But anyway, uh, I had a gift card to spend, so I ended up buying myself another Tarcha Chameleon Gold Spun Lip Balm. Um, probably all seen it, but I may as well open it up. I am using the one that I've got at the moment, so this is my... Um, a backup lip balm absolutely love this for putting on my lips at night um, I don't use it during the day because it's too expensive um, so it's a bit of a treat um, as a lip mask and oh, I don't know I've got a sample here I don't even know how to pronounce it um, the brand I don't even know <laughs> what it is so another sample that I'll have to use up now 
The final thing that I have to show you, um, I've really slept on this. It had been sitting in my collection for ages. Uh, and after I used, I showed in my empties video that I used up my Eco Tools um, brush cleaner. And I there was this, um, I got the Style Pro um, sort of set where you spin um, your brushes dry. And it came with a small bottle of cleanser in it, which I just thought it was going to be cheap and nasty and probably useless. So I just wasn't bothered um, to even try it out until I would finished up my um, Eco Tools one. And I was struggling to get my uh, makeup sponges clean. And uh, yeah, I tried this Style Pro um, cleanser on my makeup sponges and it absolutely demolished any stains that were on them. They came up looking brand new. So I can't um, get this anymore locally. I would originally bought it in the shaver shop um, uh, and yeah, they unfortunately don't range it anymore. So I had to go onto eBay and um, have a look on there and I managed to pick up a large bottle. It's a 500 mil or like basically 17 ounce fluid ounces and uh, wasn't cheap. So um, I'm going to have to make sure that I don't waste it um, because yeah trying to get more um, won't be that easy for me but anyway so that is it there I cannot recommend this stuff enough um, it it's just honestly you think your um, brushes and sponges are clean until you pop these on and then you just see it just melts the makeup away so really really um happy with that so that's it that is the last haul um for me for this year um moving forward um i can't see myself purchasing much next year uh since i've been doing my makeup for work i've really been enjoying just playing in my own collection um feeling a little bit overwhelmed um once you start using your stuff it's easy when you're not using your stuff to just buy 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 um, but using it makes you very, very aware of what you have and what you haven't used. So I'm not saying that I won't buy anything next year because that would be a lie. Um, but, and I'm not putting myself on an official low buy, but I just don't have the urge to buy anything. Um, so yeah, uh, it is what it is. I'm happy just playing and I'm hoping to focus more on panning and getting my numbers um, back down again so so that's it guys you probably won't see me again after this until next year now um, so thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the new year stay safe bye